Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing as the active weather continues and a return of very wet conditions to Southern California. We're going to talk about precipitation expected through March 11th, 2019. All right, how much rainfall occurred over the weekend? Here's a map which nicely shows that the blue shaded areas received over our mountains widespread one to two inches of rain. Locally, there was over three inches. In fact, a couple locations in the Santa Ana Mountains, a couple locations up in the San Bernardino Mountains, and even one location in Palomar Mountain on the wet southwest slope received over three inches of rain. Not a big rain producer for southern San Diego County, generally a quarter to half inch in that area. Double that for northern San Diego County and very similar, close to an inch in northern Orange County. And favorable areas in the Inland Empire too, over an inch of rainfall from the weekend storm. Most of that occurred on Saturday. What about uh, since the start of the water year? You can see Southern California is shaded in the 125 to as much as 200% of normal up in the Eastern San Bernardino Mountains. Most of Southern California in our region far southwest California over 150 percent or one and a half times as much precipitation compared to an average year. What do we have in store? This is a satellite image showing the active weather pattern. It'll bring another storm into our region as shown here on Wednesday starting as early as late Tuesday with the rainfall but the bulk of the storm coming in Wednesday morning. Storm number two is due to arrive on Friday. This has a lot colder air and will rapidly move eastward, reaching Southern California Friday morning. Another storm is possible way off the satellite image here on Sunday, Monday. What are we looking at for this week? It looks like an atmospheric river is taking shape. It is pulling tropical moisture straight up from the deep red area, which is the tropics, and it'll focus it across South Central California. So the Southern Sierra Nevada and the Point Conception area with this storm number one. Since the moisture is coming directly up from the tropics, it'll be very mild with high snow levels. This is what it looks like on a weather map. Starting late Tuesday, especially Tuesday evening, the storm gets closer. It looks like a moderate storm but it does weaken as it moves through, a lot like what we saw on Saturday. It flattens out, does not have a lot of cold air with this storm on Wednesday. But nonetheless, the weak cold front moves through Wednesday morning. Showers will taper off Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. What kind of rainfall are we expecting? And snow levels are going to be very high, up around 10,000 feet. We are expecting widespread two to four inches of rain for the San Bernardino Mountains shaded in orange. We are expecting anywhere from one to three inches in the Riverside Mountains. Now in the Inland Empire and Northern Orange County, those areas between one and two inches of rainfall, quite significant rainfall for that area. Not as strong as what we saw in mid-February, however. Now as you go south, a sharp gradient, and you can see it tapers off down to about a quarter of an inch down towards San Diego. Northern San Diego County, though, you see numbers over a half inch and over an inch Palomar Mountain. Not much spillover in the lower deserts, but take a look at the higher deserts. There is potential for significant rainfall up to an inch up around Victorville. Wind potential, this does have quite a bit of wind with it. Um, most of it's going to be over the higher terrain, not a lot of low level wind. So coastal areas with that weakening cold front wind gusts of 20, 25 miles per hour, but our mountain areas and the desert slopes, wind gusts of 50, 60 miles per hour, shaded in the orange and the red on this map. That's primarily for Wednesday. Another storm and a cold front is expected later this week. It looks like Thursday night the storm approaches and then it swings through quickly Friday morning as shown here. This has a tap to much colder air, so the snow levels will be able to drop and they'll be much, much lower on Friday when that cold air arrives. Less precipitation is expected with the colder air. 
But nonetheless, over our mountain areas, especially the eastern San Bernardinos, the San Diego Mountains, and the Riverside Mountains, we should see in rainfall totals and precipitation totals, since it's colder, rain and snow, over an inch in those dark shaded areas of green. Now elsewhere, it looks like generally a half inch, uh, and some places in northern Orange County, down to a quarter inch. So this storm favors San Diego County and the eastern San Bernardinos and eastern Riverside Mountains as shown here. Little bit of spillover in the deserts, but not much as this storm is much colder and more unstable, even though it has less moisture available with it. Snowfall potential is much more significant with this storm. We could see uh, over six inches for the Big Bear ski resort areas. Now for the mountain communities, generally one to four inches of snow, a lot of that will occur Friday morning. So keep that in mind if traveling out to the mountains, much lower snow levels. How about another storm? Well, the track looks to be splitting off and allowing a storm system to arrive probably sometime late Sunday into Monday. So right now, Saturday looks dry, late Sunday into Monday with a storm system breaking off and moving towards Southern California. For this third and potentially final storm, March 10th through 12th, it really favors the southwest part of California coastal areas and our mountain areas as shaded in the dark or green areas there. It doesn't look to be a major storm, but still a significant storm potential. The confidence is quite high for extreme Southern California for above average precipitation, not just average, but above average precipitation as we go into that period, especially March 11th and 12th. Here's the summary, three different storms, a very mild, warm, atmospheric river. Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday, tapering off Wednesday night. That storm will have very high snow levels and bring heavy rainfall to the San Bernardino Mountains and also down to the Santa Ana Mountains. The next storm, much colder, Thursday night, Friday morning, a rather strong cold front crashing snow levels Friday morning. The third storm looks to take a different track and be much further south, favoring the southwest part of California, including coastal areas. The heaviest precipitation looks to be Wednesday morning with storm number one. Precipitation starts as early as late Tuesday afternoon, then widespread in the evening and overnight. The heaviest rainfall rates will be the Santa Ana and the San Bernardino, i.e. the Inland Empire and the coastal slopes, that area could see a steady period of moderate rainfall rates of a quarter to half inch per hour. A lot of that's going to occur late Tuesday night and all through Wednesday morning. We don't see much uh, happening on Thursday and snow levels will be very high on Thursday as well, but there will be some scattered showers and drizzle. There's not a lot of cold air to work with as this storm system number one weakens on Wednesday. Total precipitation two to three inches along the coastal slopes. That's uh, San Bernardino Mountains, the Riverside Mountains, and Orange County Mountains, locally up to four. Now for the Inland Empire and Coastal Orange, look for about a half inch to up to an inch and a half. That includes places like Ontario and San Bernardino getting up around an inch and a half of rain. Pretty beneficial, significant rainfall. And it is falling on saturated conditions, so we have to keep an eye on runoff. Totals of a half inch to an inch in San Diego. That's mostly going to be uh, the half inch or more will be northern county, the quarter inch southern part of the county. Not a lot of rain in the lower deserts, but our high deserts could see a half inch to an inch across our high deserts. Most of that early Wednesday morning. Next storm looks to be on track with a strong cold front Thursday night and Friday morning. Fast moving system. Not an atmospheric river, but a strong cold front, so it'll be unstable. Really favorable for the eastern San Bernardino Mountains and the San Diego Mountains. On that storm, look for about a third to an inch for most areas, except for some of our favored mountains with that westerly flow, an inch to an inch and a half of precipitation. Snow levels will really crash, looks like on Wednesday morning. Um, we're going to see some snow accumulation down to 5,000 feet. 
and we are going to see uh, several inches of snow at the ski resort level and at least a couple inches of snow in the mountain town communities. And that is on top of all the rain we see on Wednesday. So quite a mess with active weather in our northern mountains. And there is a high potential for rock slides, uh, maybe small debris flows and that type of activity and significant rises into the creeks that lead into our rivers. All right, please check us out on Twitter for the latest updates. And reminder here that if you do receive a flash flood warning, that means urgent property, life-threatening flooding. A flood advisory means urban, low-lying, usual areas that can be a problem if you don't take any precautions to avoid it. All right, stay safe, everyone. You can monitor the weather at the links shown in the middle.